Hey everyone, my, Rick, my friend Rick Sartella just posted this about 15 minutes ago. I think it's worth reading. He asks, uh, where does the coronavirus stack up against these other outside-the-line sports disruptions? Magic Johnson's 1991 announcement that he had AIDS. President Ronald Reagan being shot on the day of the NCAA title game in 1981. The 1972 Munich Olympics. The Orioles playing without fans in 2015 when there was unrest in the streets of Baltimore. NFL games being played just after President Kennedy was assassinated in 1963. The bombing of Pearl Harbor during NFL games in uh, 19, December 7, 1941. And Daryl Stingley paralyzed by a ferocious hit on the football field in, the, in 78. In all these instances, it seemed like sports just didn't matter much, courtesy of David Halberstam. Um, I... My answer is, first of all, to take these one by one. First of all, all of these examples you give have one thing in common, uh, all of them. And I do mean all of them say for, yeah, all of them. All of them really involved primarily the United States or in, in the case of the 72 Munich Olympics and in the case of all the other examples you provided, only the United States. By stark contrast, the coronavirus that is COVID-19 is a worldwide pandemic. And that has to be understood. None of these examples you provided with all due respect in any way, in any way can be compared to this worldwide pandemic. And while we might debate how it started, the simple fact of the matter is that the world, not just the United States, is reacting to it. So where we go from here as a planet, as an industrialized world, okay, is um, a question. How, we recover, how do we recover from this? What should we be doing? For example, uh, I just finished cleaning up this table here because... I ate here, and but I clean did more than clean it up. I swabbed it down, and I, in a way that I've never done it before, using bleach. Right. I'm taking major precautions throughout this house. So, my story is one of millions, and if you consider the world, billions of stories. Okay. You cannot take any of the examples you provided and say that any one of them impacted the world the way this has. This has put us in a position where we are faced with how to deal with a worldwide pandemic, something that, if not handled properly, could indeed wipe a significant portion of the population out. I contend that our communications are such that they're contributing that possibility. For example, if the COVID ID coronavirus has symptoms that are flu-like, then the logical next step very simply is to take flu medicine before you get the flu. Basically, strengthen your immune system and make it as impervious to getting the flu as you possibly can, not just self-quarantining not just staying clean, but frankly speaking, self-medicating in a good way, not a bad way. So there you go, Rick. There's my answer to you. And uh, hey, stay in touch, man. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.